Today we're going to talk about why many Americans may not get the tax refund they've come to expect in prior years, and how to avoid getting shocked at tax time, or at least how to understand the issues at play this year. Because to be clear, last year's average tax refund for most Americans of $2,535 will likely not be the same for 2020, and I'll tell you why. For most Americans, tax refunds are the biggest single financial transaction of the year. And getting a smaller tax refund than anticipated, or not getting a tax refund at all, can cause major concern and heartache. Even having a balance due this year compared to last year can cause some major concern. It could mean you won't have the extra cash you've relied on in prior years to put towards things like paying bills, paying down debt, buying essential items, or building your savings account for future needs. If any of these things happen to you this year, you need to pay particular attention to know what you can do about it, or at least to plan ahead. If you collected unemployment benefits in 2020, if you became self-employed, whether full-time, part-time, if you had any kind of a job change, furloughed, laid off, worked from home, worked multiple jobs, or even retired, you will have a different income tax refund experience than last year. Now let's get into why these changes could cause a lower than expected tax refund or possibly a balance due this year. First up, unemployment benefits. Some people don't realize that unemployment benefits are subject to federal and in some cases state income taxes, just like any other source of income. Meaning the traditional unemployment benefits you received, as well as the additional $600 a week coronavirus relief, are considered fully taxable income on your 2020 tax return. The tricky part about unemployment income is also there's no automatic tax withholding. Taxpayers must opt in or elect to have taxes withheld from their unemployment benefits. And understandably, most folks who are unemployed don't elect to have taxes withheld from their benefit payments. And here's another catch. Even if you did elect to have taxes withheld on these benefits, tax withholdings for unemployment benefits are only available at a 10% rate. And frankly, no matter how low your income tax bracket, 10% is really low. At the end of the day, a 10% withholding rate is often not enough to cover taxes owed, especially if taxpayers qualified for the extra $600 a week from the federal government. So if you got unemployment income this year, you'll want to consider setting aside some money in the coming days for possible taxes due at tax day. Secondly, self-employment and the increase in the gig economy and part-time jobs this year was unprecedented. Many people became self-employed for the first time to make ends meet, and they're not aware there are tax implications and other tax laws that are now applicable to them that were not when they were an employee. Here are some of my favorite scenarios. Did you or someone you know become a delivery driver, a consultant, a coach, make or sell masks or other crafts, become a dog walker, a tutor, or any other type of side hustle? And this list is endless this year. You may be thinking about keeping self-employment income or side hustle work as money under the table and not report it. But you can't do that for two reasons. First, not only are you legally required to report this income, and the IRS will likely find out, but just as important, many people don't realize there may be significant tax deductions and tax benefits available for your hard work. Sometimes the tax benefits more than offset the income made and even more benefit. But more about that in a second. Think about how much time you invested, and not just time, but the out-of-pocket costs and expenses you made. Some big call-outs are items like gas and travel and vehicle use, startup costs. These are all deductible expenses, tax deductions that will lower your tax liability on your side gig work and maybe even other income you have. If the pandemic required you to work from home, you might think you can claim your home office expenses as a deduction on your 2020 return. But I hate to break it to you, after tax reform was passed some years ago, working from home as an employee does not qualify for a home office deduction. However, taxpayers who are self-employed may qualify for a home office deduction. And even if you're both an employee and have a side gig, you can still get this wonderful home office deduction. Keep your office area separate from your family area and keep good records of what you've done in your home office. Remember that all income is taxable even if you worked multiple jobs, and even if for just a short time. You'll need to report all the income you received, whether it was on a W-2, a 1099, or simply paid in cash. 
Lastly, it's a good idea to pay attention to tax law changes and benefits on an ongoing basis. For example, this year you may have received a stimulus check or an economic impact payment, which were based on your 2019 tax returns. Recent new tax legislation just passed in December included even more stimulus payments for select taxpayers and some much needed other safe harbor provisions for the earned income tax credit taxpayers, providing options and much needed help. However, to access these benefits, you may need last year's 2019 tax return and even the details of EIP payments received so far. Otherwise, you might not get all of your benefits. So how do you prepare to avoid refund shock? My advice is simple. Start early. Find a tax pro for some help. Make a plan and stick to that plan. This is not the year to wait until April 15th or even when just those first wage-related documents start hitting your mailbox. It's important to start as early as possible so you don't panic and chance missing the deadline or overlook other tax benefits that are truly yours. Get prepared today by scheduling an appointment on jacksonhewitt.com. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to get even more tax tips this season.